Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm sorry for my crazy hair. I was just packing some orders and I didn't have time to do my hair, but I want to start this video right now, otherwise I won't film it like never. So as you know, or maybe you don't know because it was posted on John's channel, I have new prints that I'm going to be showing you right now on the screen. These are the ones I was talking about on my last video that I wanted to do. It's the three iconic foods of New York City the bagel, the pizza, and the pastrami. I drew this with watercolor, I'm also gonna show you. I actually filmed the whole process, but it's a little bit long and honestly a little bit boring if I only show you that. So instead I decided to make this video where I show you how I did it with my watercolors. I really miss doing a traditional illustration, so this was a great opportunity. But I also wanted to sell them on my Etsy shop. Um, so I had a challenge to have them uh, on paper with watercolor and I had to change them to digital. So I decided to make this video to show you how I do that. The first step of course is to do your watercolor. If you want to reproduce these ones and sell them on your Etsy shop, uh, you can definitely do it and it's very simple. If you already have a tool like an iPad or like a graphic tablet and uh, or even if you don't have this but you have a um, Photoshop and you think you can do this with your computer uh, you can perfectly do it so I'm gonna teach you how I do it um, I'm not saying it's the best way to do it or the fastest way to do it I'm not a graphic designer so I'm pretty sure there are ways that are faster and easier but this is how someone like me that doesn't know anything about graphic design does it okay first of all I had a lot of fun doing this the, these traditional illustrations after a while and then when they were ready I just put them on a frame and, I'll, and I checked if I like everything about them so when I was happy with the result I put them on a table with a lot of light and I used my phone because my phone has a great camera but you can use any camera that is actually good and take pictures of your illustration like I'm showing you right now after that, you're gonna, of course, put those files either on your computer or your iPad. In my case, my iPad Pro. I'm gonna use an app called Snapseed to adjust the colors, to brighten the picture a little bit, to make the background a little bit brighter or darker, whatever you wanna do with the picture. So once it's ready, I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna actually open that file with the program that you wanna use. In this case, I'll use Procreate, which is the app that I use on my iPad. Once we have this one on the program that we're gonna use, I'm gonna pick one brush that is actually on any Procreate um, app. If you don't want the app, it's gonna be there by default. Um, and it's this one that doesn't have the line straight. It's a little bit blurry on the edges. I know you know what I mean. So I'm gonna use that one uh, as with the color white because in this case I want the background to be completely white. So I'm gonna go around my drawing like really careful painting with white and really soft because I don't want the edges to be super hard. I want them to be a little bit blurry so it looks more natural. So I'm gonna go all the way around my picture and once I paint all that white and I think it's safe, I'm gonna just paint the rest of the background white too. 
when this is done i'm gonna just adjust the picture to move it to the center or the middle or whatever whatever i want to put it i'm just gonna do that if you feel there are parts that are still looking a little bit weird you can use the same brush maybe to erase a little bit or in this case procreate has this function or tool that you can use where you can bury or blend so I use exactly the same brush that I used before to blend and I just start to blend whatever color I think is not matching the background with the, with the illustration and I just start blending to make it look more natural and that's it that's all I do to make my watercolor a digital illustration and once it's done I just go to the same place you saw in my last video and they help me to print them and I actually have here a couple of them because I went yesterday um, to print some because I already got some orders you can check them out on my Etsy shop if you're interested but that's the result and I think it looks really cool because if you can see the drawing keeps that texture from the watercolor paper and it looks like I painted it with my hands because that's what I did but at the same time I can reproduce it over and over and sell it on my Etsy shop this is for you, you want to start selling your illustrations but you don't want to do digital art and you can use watercolor or maybe gouache if you like it I like this a lot because it's fun to use sometimes um, traditional illustration but still I can sell it on my Etsy Alright guys, I don't know if this is going to be a short or a long video because sometimes I talk and I think it's really short and then when I'm editing it's a long video because I talk a lot. <laughs> but I hope you like it and I hope you find it useful instead you want to start selling. And please tell me in the comments if you like it, if you like my new prints, if you like the idea. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me on the comments or send me a message. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.